Alright, so hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, a lot of, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people currently taking their finals here through college. And good luck to you. I am having my finals this week as well. And just wanted to post this video to say that you're, whoever's watching, good luck with your finals. You'll do fine. Don't stress. And be confident in yourself because I'm pretty sure you all studied really well or were in class and were taking notes or whatever you do to memorize everything that the teacher tells you or your professor. So I've been saying so a lot. <laughs> so I, I did that again but you can in the comments below comment how your day was and if you you have any finals you're worried about, like what your worries are, and I'll try to comment on your post as quickly as possible. But if no one decides to comment on my post, I will be sad. <laughs> okay, don't worry, I'm not like any creepy person. If you don't want to comment, go ahead. It, it doesn't matter, it's okay if you don't want to comment, but I just talked about my finals are going to happen. I have two. Two. <laughs> Uh, one of them was today. It was my CS161. Yeah, CS161 final, which is pretty much a C++ class. Computer science, yay! And it was a pretty good test. It wasn't easy. It was. It had questions that tricked you, and you have to study for CS161 a lot. And thankfully, I did. And my next one, which is this Wednesday at night is my Math 254 class and in that class there's a lot of notes at least we get three note cards yay and I already have two uh, there's a lot of writing on them but a lot of writing Ooh, whoops I am currently writing my second note card which I start with like my on like the Line paper. Oh, if you want me to, well, I, I should just tell you how I do this. So for each like each in the each each, each each you see, I I have to write down what I need to say. So for my two fifty four class, my professor split it split it up into three sections. The first section was like factors. Second section was Oh, what was it? Uh, I think parallel, well, pretty much uh, integration, single integrations, and the final one, it, single integrations, just area of it. Oh gosh, you see, everything I learned went up ahead. And currently, I'm the third part, which I'm working on right now, is volume, which is triple integrals. Triple integrals are not fun, <laughs> to be honest. And we're learning, well, we learned about polar and like spherical coordinates and circular cylindrical coordinates. It's currently, if you're listening to this, this sounds really confusing, but once you get to 254, or if you ever, if you don't take it, you don't need to worry about it because your professor or teacher will teach you really well. I hope <laughs> because this stuff is very confusing so how I take notes so usually after like my classes I have uh, a bit of notes this is like a bit of my three my whole term notes and a bit of over here but uh, yeah so I kind of mark up a corner that says it's new uh, let's see where did where is my markup and sometimes my markups aren't very <laughs> easy because uh, it's like on this page right ah uh, right here it says new and that's where I mark up to show so that's where new section begins. Uh, I thought I folded the corner for it, but I think I did. And then I just go through each page one by one, go through it, and writing down notes. And as you can see over here, it's. Uh, it talks 
I wrote like volume, true volume functions, and then in my notebook, if I can go back to my notebook. <laughs> Losing all my loose leaf papers in there. I wrote it right here. Volume. Oops. And then underneath this is like the equation true volume. And that's how I go with notes and I write down anything that's like an equation or something that's important that I need to work on into my uh oh sorry into my uh, live paper note and then I after I'm done with like writing my notes I grab one of my note cards like this is a seven by <laughs> no way it's not a seven by four it's a three by five like note card yay and I write notes in like my ink pen and if you can see this is my first note card for my test it's kind of evenly filled not too bad not too messy but then here's my second one I kind of crammed a lot over there and on the back it's empty I should have crammed put all that crammed stuff in the back but I'm going to plan on taking some of my current notes and putting it back here so I can have more space on my other notes and also, I have to make sure these note cards are correct because I'm taking a test and I have to make sure I have correct notes because it's not good if you have like wrong notes. <laughs> okay. Oh, so this pen. I love it so much. It's not like a ballpoint pen, it's one of those like Asian pens, like really sharp at the tip. Uh, it doesn't say anything, but this is what it says in Chinese. I'm moving my light. It's not like you can really see it, but it's a really nice pen. It's like one of those pens that you can, once the ink's over out, you can take the pen out and then get a new one. But this one has a lot of ink. I had another one, but I lost it and I got this one when I went back to China over the summer. Uh, what I love about this pen is it's really smooth in writing and you don't need to worry about like slipping with unlike ballpoint pens because when I write with ballpoint pens it slips everywhere and my handwriting is super messy. Oh, I'm going off topic. So now back to my study method thing. I didn't even put a subtitle for or what was it called? The introduction for it. <laughs> you see, oh well, this is why I'm not an actual YouTuber. Um, so for like my CS161 class, I took notes during lectures and my professor put the lectures online. So I just reviewed all those and then like any exams that he posted with the answer keys, I reviewed those as well. Hmm. Another study method. Don't. Hmm. Don't what? Don't cut. Don't cut out your sleep time because it affects how well you're going to do on the test. Because if you're sleepy, your brain won't actually work with you. So before the night before the test, sleep early, and in the morning try not to stress because. Well, if you stress, then I think go down, goes downhill, and then all everything you remember boop, flies out of your brain. So if you feel like you're going to stress, go on YouTube, watch someone something funny to lift your spirits. Because the the more happier you are, the more likely, the more better you'll be on the test and be positive and have give yourself positive reinforcement and. I don't know. I don't know what else to say, but I don't. Wait. 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 I'm flying. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't even ask my age. Uh, oh well. Well, thanks for watching this 10 minute long video. Click subscribe if you want to. Like, comment, do whatever you want. <laughs> 
and good luck with your finals. I'm pretty sure you, you'll all do fine. And good luck again. And I'll see you sometime. So, bye. <laughs>